What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the basement. Look, Adam's back. He's here to talk about DC's rebirth. We also got Captain America Steve Rogers number one, and we got Scooby Apocalypse. This is the episode of season finales, guys. We got Legends of Tomorrow, we got The Flash, we got Arrow, we got Gotham, we got Whiskey, we got these awesome hand-painted glasses from our girl Harley Quinn from Elizabeth Mendoza. Thank you very much. As you can see, we are enjoying the whiskey in them already. Go get your drinks and we'll get ready here. for the show. So, uh, as far as the season finales, man, I actually found myself surprisingly enjoying uh, Arrow. I saw really? What? Was Arrow was totally lackluster it for me. It was garbage. I, I enjoyed it. You know why? <laughs> uh, because at the end, it was just uh, fucking Arrow, and, you know, and his fucking girl and everybody else left. Uh, it's not like, his girl. She, she fucking Whatever it. he's going to give her his green with fucking that penis cut Arrow little bitch. I'm a huge fan of her. But this season, so next season she'll be fucking wearing, you know, a, co a tight costume and take fucking Green Arrow. Dick. Which I don't case, I'll take her back. Fine. What I'm saying is I liked it because I thought it was, um, it was one of those things where it's like if they ended the whole fucking series right there, it was acceptable, right? Okay. But it means the next season they can either do one or two things. They can either put new characters in to, you know, play... You know, well, we are aware that uh, I believe Roy Harper, uh, Colton Haynes is coming back. Yeah, right, but but yeah. it means they can do take it a couple different ways. They can also do the whole uh, getting the band back together for the first half of the fucking season, or they could do the the, the uh, Dark Knight fucking returns bullshit. Where uh, uh, well, he is actually growing where, beard. Where Oliver, yes. Qua Oliver fucking uh, Queen is is fucking uh, mayor. And hasn't been Arrow in years, and that you know what I mean. Like, was he it's mayor in the comics? Did that happen? Yeah. Okay, yep. I thought I was yep. like hallucinating. Yeah. So I kind of like it. Also, I, you know, the, the whole like um, I want you for shit. Uh -huh. So I mean, but for that reason, I liked it. You know what I mean? Um, Legends of Tomorrow is is whatever. Uh, what's your it, time? It, what, go, go ahead. Arrow ended in a fucking rumble. I liked it. That was garbage. I enjoyed it. The <laughs> first fight, of all, the fight why? between Damien and Arrow was good, even though it shouldn't be a fight. Why the fuck didn't he just kill him? And then he brings I, all of his boys and all of the fucking people like, yeah, we're with you. Shut the fuck up. Why didn't all of his dudes shoot. with guns shoot the shit out of the That's civilians? What I'm like, I mean, <laughs> motherfuckers don't know how to be good. Everybody gonna just run up and charge? What the fuck is this? I mean, maybe oh. they're the last Hell minute. Warriors? Conscious, man. Funny story. <laughs> I'm watching this. My wife passes by. Hey, it's Dum Dum Dugan. And she keeps on walking by. And I'm like, I love her. <laughs> well played. I like that. <laughs> My wife just looked at him and was like, why did I marry you, you fucking nerd? And then she looks at her son and is like, your future is not bright. <laughs> See, I had to hang my head in shame because I was like, oh, hey, look, it's M. Bison. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> didn't end well. Didn't end well. Yeah. Really? Um, but I, you guys really didn't like the fucking end of this season? I did not care I liked it better than the end of last season. I liked it better than the... I thought following up Flash, it was completely lackluster. Flash lasted. was very fucking Flash good. was garbage. Flash was fucking awesome. I enjoyed it. Garbage. Are you I, kidding me? Listen, Barry I've... Allen is the stupidest fucking hero ever. Absolutely. He keeps on time traveling. He fucks up Zoom, spoiler alert, by getting a fucking time rafe after him. I'm going to... I forget the name of him. Time rafe. Time rafe, right, you were right. I'm so done what does with he do? He does the same shit that gets the time rapes after he has. He goes back and fucks the. But I like listen, listen. There's a couple things I did like. I like the fact they finally it. showed the fucking man with the iron mask. I think they got a little too fucking hinky with like Earth One or Two or Three Earth fucking. Well, that's all gonna play into Legends and everything. Yeah, else, and they're gonna but... they're supposed to be doing this huge cool crossover, or whatever. Yeah. But you know what? I, I Barry Allen is a fucking moron. He's supposed to be. He's like this. He's this like. Love lost schmuck who can't get his life together. He also went from dark and morbid to fucking happy and peppy. To he was basically so somewhere he's between. Got he lost, his father got killed. He's like, okay, now nah, fuck this. This is yeah, enough. Right? I have to do this. What could possibly go wrong? Everything, Barry. Yeah. Everything yeah. See, can you know go wrong. This is to me, Barry. The way they're playing this, Barry Allen to me is like Peter fucking Parker, right? Is that half the time he does has zero fucking idea what he's doing. He's kind of just going along intuitively and is doing it so fast, you know, <laughs> that, it, that he's bound to fuck everything up. I'm but I. But it had to happen because remember, Barry was Allen's it season one, one yes. that he goes back to save his mother, and then there's oh, another yeah, yeah. him who's like, oh, "Don't do it, wait, motherfucker! Hey, don't do quick, it." 
deck of faces, uh, Zoom's Jay Garrett costume was much fucking better. I yeah, it was. It was 100% it was yeah. much cooler looking. Yeah, totally fucking agree with you. Less bright and rainbow. Yeah. Zoom's costume was he totally looked, badass. The whole black flash thing. Yeah. Even when his face got tore off. Did you notice how he became yeah, yeah, yeah. like the black flash at yeah, that point? Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, a nice yeah. nod. That, no, but that's <clears> what I'm saying. I felt like he was just. Go ahead. He just irked me. Yeah, he's so a fucking, fucking mutt. He's a putz, but that's part of the charm of the fucking show. You're watching this putz figure it all out. With the hope that at the end of the fucking series, <laughs> he gets it all together as a pro. And then at the end of it all, it, it came down to a race? Yeah. I know, that was Why stupid. Let's yeah. race, but at the same time, I'm going to give you what you need to destroy the fucking multiverse. Why you always got to make it about race? <laughs> I know that was that was a little ridiculous. It was, it was, this I liked, was a lot of zoom. I liked the uh, like little it. nod to Crisis when he yeah, started, yeah, 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 the time yeah. remnant started to fade away and yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. But that, it, it was but likable. I liked but <sighs> let's talk about the uh, the aborted fucking uh, retard fetus that was the season finale of Gotham. <laughs> oh my god! Before that, we get, that, right, that was literally that's a, like, that's a great yeah, intro. So let's, like, I was like, gonna go to Legends. That is literally like watching someone skull fuck a baby. It was terrible. <laughs> they showed little signs of hope this season. I'm no, so behind. Like, so go ahead. I want, I want four five Bruce episodes Wayne. back and went to shit. I want Bruce Asriel. Wayne to be run over by a fucking truck publicly. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Because you saw the ending, run, right? Like, Wait, there's two now. There's two. Yeah. He's either a twin. Yeah. A clone, or, Ramon is or racist, Thomas, you see or Thomas <laughs> Wayne Jr. Ramon is a hard word. God. Listen, yeah, all I can yeah. say to that is, is that I want both of them then to fucking be stripped naked, dipped in battery acid, and run over by fucking truck like the guy, like that one fucking guy in Robocop. But you know, at the end, oh, where he's, yeah, yeah just like that. Don't that's touch me, man. I, that's what I look forward. That's my dream. If Obama can make that happen, I will feel that his entire presidency will have been worth it, and I will completely validate. <laughs> him in the annals of time. But in the interim, that fucking show really needs to just fucking it does. stop. It hurt my feelings. Yeah, it, it, it really just, it's enough, man. Like, I can't. I and still, I was with I it I, I until Azriel showed up. Dude, it got what? stupid then. Well, stupid it, I was actually yeah. looking forward to Azriel, but I'm, like I said, behind like eight episodes cheesy. on this. Yeah. It was bad. It's really terrible. Like, like there. The liberties they've taken on some of these other shows. They couldn't let Jada Pinkett Smith stay dead. She's oh, back. Right? Why the fuck is she still... I, whatever. She served well, the purpose. This is what I'm saying. They Let take liberties with the other fucking shows, and it's actually kind of interesting because they, you know, like, a different network, and that's all Greg Berlanti doing that shit. But, Ooh, but, but, but Gotham, which could have been really intriguing, should have been. They, wow. It's, They're doing with that show exactly what I feared they would do, which is turning it from a, a noir cop show, which could have been into, awesome, yeah. into, into pre-Batman nonsense. Yeah, and it's right. not even like good pre-Batman shit. Like, the kid is sitting there and he's basically like, I'm already a fucking genius. I'm going to figure all this out and ninja. This fucking... Like, the kid is supposed to be an emotional re... Like, he, whoa. Hold on, he, but he got issues, so... Yeah, he clearly... Gotham's so white. Yeah, I'll go with that too. You'd think for a major metropolis, there'd be a few fucking black people walking around, but apparently <laughs> Gotham uh, has managed to banish them all to a suburb. Thanks, Jet, for Casey. Fish Moon is back, and she has powers. She's got powers? <laughs> yeah. Please yeah, tell me it's like something it. to do with fish. That's my control. Or the moon. I can deal with it being the moon. She Whatever. touches you, she controls you. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. Okay. It's the fucking... Okay, so let's, let's move past this. Which Okay, now we're going to disagree like, on this. I actually like Legends. I don't hate it. I just I like don't love it. it. I, I don't hate it. I, I just don't love it. I, I really, What I really hate is their version of The Atom. Like, I really hate Rachel. You would Palmer. prefer, like, the, the whole costume thing, or you just don't like, like the. I don't like. Character? I I want Brandon Ruth to die of fucking leprosy. I like that guy. I really just want to see, like, limbs fall off him. You know what I mean? <laughs> but but also, I hate the way they did the fucking. He's like a bad Iron Man fucking send up. It's yeah. terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really terrible. Even the sound Gerard, effects Gerard when he guy. shoots shit, it just sucks. Uh, and Which is fucked up because he could have been a really interesting character. They just made him suck. Mm -hmm. Firestorm is kind of cool. Firestorm's pretty bad. Especially now that he's transmuting things. Yeah, like I kind of like. I, I was waiting for that to all happen. fucking season. You do the last but, five minutes. But it's it's, 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 oh, it's oh yeah that. But like it's um, I, it doesn't suck. It's it could be so much worse than it is. I like the, the introduction of Our Man at the end of it, bringing in the Justice fucking, Society. Uh, great potential there. I feel like. Now that they've gotten this Vandal Savage shit out of this system, they can do some really creative shit with the show. I think they, they're pretty much limited, limitless because the time machine, they can go with fucking anywhere and do anything, like, bring anyone I, in. I, right, all yeah. I need to know is Constantine going to appear on the show. Is Constantine the show? is coming like back. Yeah. P.S. Uh, first bomb from the shadow. 
we are now hearing that John Wesley's ship as Jay Garrick will be a re not a total regular, but he will make many appearances oh, on season cool. two as a member of the and, Justice Society. And I think that could be fucking cool as shit. Yeah. That you, you know, and then you have I Super, mean, I, Supergirl, which wasn't miserable, but they're bringing that into the fold. And whatever big crossover they do. They're going to do Crisis, and I'm sure they're going to combine all the universes so this way and, she's with him. Because we're also hearing... And I don't know how much we like this idea. It makes sense. The shadow made it make sense to me. I don't like it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It. Hold on. We've been corrected here. Is it Fox, Fish, String? There are, yes, there are minority cast members on the show. And, uh, uh, Firefly, yeah. as real sister, Stranger She's Nerd. fine. As real sister? Mm. Yeah, she's hot. She's Why mean. can't you just stop oppressing her with your penis? Can you just let her be an actress without your dick <laughs> getting in the way? I agree. <laughs> but, but speaking no, of no, no, oppression, you know what? You know what? When, when, you're, when you're wrong, you're wrong. Uh, I, you're right. There are. There speaking of super are dickery, can, can I give? Can I keep? Can I finish? I'm, I'm just saying. saying that, <laughs> this is a perfectly valid point. I'm just saying we were wrong. There are uh, more than a handful of black people on. Uh, Gotham. Four. Four. One. Just a handful in a whole city. Five. Are Lucius they, Fox. Uh, they Lucius, yeah, no, they, she mentioned it. Fox, Fish, Strange, Firefly, Ezreal's sister, and Strange. Did they make Firefly black? Strange wasn't black. It was Asian. He was like an Asian dude. Mine, he's, yeah. He's not white is what they're saying. Yeah, okay. but I'll accept that too. Right. So I'll accept that too. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And you're, you're fucking right. wrong, but no, wait. I'm wrong. Six whole <laughs> non-white people in a whole city. <laughs> I, we, you, I don't know if you guys were aware of this, but we have a running theory that uh, Bruce Wayne's actually Jewish. Uh, and his name was shortened from uh, <laughs> Wayneberg. <laughs> it was the Wayneberg family dig into toilet paper oh, and God. commodities. And uh, when they needed to get into the country club, they shortened it to Wayne. Um, I'm just pretty sure that, like, you know, once, like, most black folks with a brain in their head kind of see motherfuckers walking around with costumes. liquid nitrogen like, on their backs, yeah. freezing people like, yo, we're getting out of here. You know, <laughs> you know what I hear? You know what I hear is wonderful run, compared to Gotham? Run. Detroit. I hear Detroit is wonderful this time. <laughs> In direct comparison to Gotham. Why do people keep renting in Gotham? The real estate should be so cheap. Right? That's why I they're renting. I think it would be a buyer's market in Gotham. I speak for all Where's black people when I say we Bat can run. run. Run! Um, run! Pat Manovitz. <laughs> <laughs> So Gotham sucks. I like Wayne Blue. Yeah. Gotham Legends of Tomorrow was okay. So yeah. I enjoy Legends. Supergirl is not miserable. It's not great. I like Supergirl, I like Supergirl a lot, actually. I, want I warmed up to it probably maybe six or so episodes But that's in. what I'm saying. Every time Martian Manhunter's on screen, I'm like, this is the most awesome show cool. of I would ever. love it if he had his own show. Yeah. Separately. But on top of that, Supergirl okay. doesn't suck. You know what I mean? Like it could, they could have gone so cheesy, and it, there are moments that it is, but yeah. like genuinely, it's it's um, a decent show. In Berlanti, we trust. I look. I if, the if they can bring here. some of that chemistry over to the other fucking shows, and they can get, you know, what's funny is this: is that they got like how many shows now? Five, four, four or five, four CW two? shows, four CW yep. shows, and then there's and then what else? Got the Black and then Network, got, the CW, the Black Network. Is pumping out a. They're pumping out some very fucking good. But it's still. I Zombies on there. Zo I Zombies another one. Yeah. But it's like. I, it's is a, that a Berlanti it's show? They call it the Black I don't know. Network. It is a comic show. But it's, it's, a, it's a comic show, but I don't know if it's a Berlanti Network. show. Yeah. Yeah. It's like good, it. though. I'm waiting for Flash is still the best, but it has its problems. Let's ship Supergirl and Flash. Funny you mention that, Jackal Faces. That's happening next season. Our second bomb from the shadow for the night. Yeah. Uh, Flash is going to start dating Supergirl. Wow. That's why he kind of ditched Iris. Be like, fuck you, bitch. She's cuter. Has he got I mean, idea? I don't think so. No, so he must have fucked Patty. Did he? I'm sure. How? Can she's he, so can pretty. She's out fine. There? Can I just throw this out there, though? How disappointing is sex with the Flash? I mean, it's got to be like, Quick. you're done? You're fucking done? <laughs> All I did was get my pants off. Yeah, I'm fucking... I'm a Flash, man. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Did a hot girl make fun I, of I'm, I'm, like, I'm I don't a, know if you can't get a date fastest man alive. I'm just saying, there's got to be a lot of rug burn happening there. Right? Chafing? <laughs> like, what? you got to have some really fuck. I mean, in and out, like a ducky heat, right? That's why like, you have to try with Supergirl. Uh, Supergirl can take the strain, but she's also got to be sitting there being like, listen, for all, for, all the, though, though, for all the smoke that's rising from my fucking box, <laughs> you only have for about a second and a half. Patty and Barry woke up in bed with each other. Thank you, Shadow. So, okay, so uh, yeah. And she didn't remember it either. She yeah. right. And she what, left town. Yeah. What about Wham Bam Thank You Super Ma'am? <laughs> Super Ma'am. That could also be the case. No? Like that. Not good? Or, I you know, like we're, we're forgetting that fucking Supergirl's an alien. He'd get down there and the shit could have tentacles, fucking odd little oh, knobby oh, fucking That's popular in Japan. Like, it is true. It is true. And he does strike me as a hentai kind of guy. Yeah. Um, 
please don't indict us for no. Wasn't one there a comic? I don't know if it was a, full, a real comic or just someone something drew, and it showed like Superman taking off his pants for Lois, and she's like, "Why does it have pincers?" Wait, wait, no, hold on. Stoneface eighty three just said Cyborg's vagina. That's I fucking great. It. <laughs> like the pants come off, and he's like, "That, that's how did you how did you get that?" Clock it's like off? what? Don't they all look like this? Is how they were on Krypton. That's how yep. he. That's how he had this. She's like, "Why does it have pincers?" And he's like, "To grab you with." with? Like, no, I, no I don't. I think you might have. I that, know, I'm gonna look. For yeah, that. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna look for it. All Asian girls have one. <laughs> wow. Riverdale will be Berlanti's next comic show. But is after Archie, after, the, you know, life, after after Life of Archie, is gonna be based on that. I, so it's, I don't know how much I like that. After Life of Archie is fucking awesome. But is uh, is the world ready awesome. for an Archie zombie TV show? If it's done like the book, yes. But how far are you gonna go with that? You're gonna get two, three good seasons out of it, and then it's over. Walking Dead has been going for five. It's Walking Dead, and I don't get that either. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, you don't get it either, but it makes money. At the end of the day, it's still a business. But okay, Archie, let me see if I get this like straight. You're gonna say that fucking zombie, fucking Archie. Is gonna appeal to the masses like that? Really? You know, because you're, you, a novelty for a season, um, two seasons. A, a, a not so grim. You have to grim introduce grind. these characters first, and then then novelty. That, that the reason we're I like, oh, they're... that's so cool, is because everybody's familiar with Archie and Jughead and the other two who is, and they're like, oh wow, they became fucking zombies. <laughs> Yo, hold on, did you just see it? Hey, you, they were like, everyone, shut up and just listen to Ramon. He's usually right. That's what you get when you get your wife on Periscope. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was you paid her to say that shit. Well, don't act like you do. Like, honey, I might need you to step in. <laughs> oh, uh, if you know how to use Periscope, just come and help me. They, I love they you. Pick on me, sweetie. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> There's three of them, and they're really white. Can you just somehow? How many Scooby Doo covers? Do I you only get? got the one cover of Scooby Doo. Oh, like four or five. All right, let, can, let's talk for, Scooby-Doo. I cannot Doo. forgive him for this shit. I love this book. Oh Are you God. insane? Why this is my book of the week. This, this is fucking oh, awesome. You dead grew to up me. watching You're the fucking dead to me. You're dead to me like fucking, I don't know, Godfather 3. This right. is so <laughs> fucking good. No. Scooby is a little like science experiment dog that they're, they're making weapons for the military. There's not they're admitting he could talk. And he's a failure. There, of course they're admitting he could talk. How do you get around a Scooby-Doo comic? There is not a single We've fucking panel in this that doesn't have word bubbles the size of my son's fucking head. There's All it is is exposition from a fucking dog. And a dog that in the in the cartoons was half retarded and always high. He's basically half retarded in I this know. too. All right, they so, said he's a failure. He's a failed experiment. Well, that's what my mother called me through most of college. It's also very <laughs> talky. It's a very talky book. They have a lot to explain. But Velma's but, a scientist no, trying to stop that's some just fucking it. evil scientists. No, they don't have anything to explain. Like it's Scooby fucking do. <laughs> what do you have to explain? What a great take on it. Are you kidding? He's still got the retarded kerchief. Look at this fucking thing. He's what is that? Supposed to look cool now because it looks vaguely like a fucking scarf? No, it's a kerchief. He's a fucking lame bozo. It's and like nothing. Jake from Uncharted. He got the cool Oh, part. no, I cannot dig it. I loved <laughs> no. this book. The last week's book was better. <laughs> I'm I'm just loving the Hanna Barbera. Yeah, books at this no, no, point, no. He's got to write hipster fucking Shaggy. Hipster What's Shaggy. Like? No, but they even call him a hipster. <laughs> Why is he allowed to live? He should have been run over by a fucking truck. Shit. You might be noticing a motif eight out of nine. this whole thing. The theme is trucks running people over. We spend a lot of time on Queens Boulevard. I don't what know. are these bubbles, though? Is that his, his Yeah, story? that's it, his it emoji. Jack's little thought emojis. Yeah. Oh, like um, um, who does that in X Men? That <laughs> Who was it? Is that oh, Leech? Uh, Leech. One of them. Because uh, they can't speak, so they... Well, maybe they'll all die in the speak. end and it'll all Party, be worth I it. Think. Sean, Leech I hope so. Talks. God, you know what? If you're right... I loved this you book. You brought a little light into my heart. Th this book was the, the, the perfect way to bring Scooby <clears throat> into a more modern... You know, take on it into a comic book because otherwise, how are you going to carry a comic book of a fucking Scooby Doo adventure? It's going to be, it's going to last five fucking issues right? and nobody's going to give a shit anymore, like the, the the old cartoons. This actually, this is super fucking interesting. It was, uh, it was so much. You're all fucking. I'm heathens. afraid to see the van. Oh, oh yeah. the fuck! What do you want to do to the van? It's gonna be some look flying bullshit. You know how this could kind of redeem itself up. in my mind? Kind of redeem cool itself stuff in it. is if they finally show fucking Scooby and Shag smoking out of a fucking bong. I want to yeah. see. That. They might. If I if we get to see them doing bong, yes, Future I Quest is it. better. That I'm not okay. You want to hear something sad? Future Quest is fucking great for me. I agree. Um, they got Steve Rude, who's my fucking art hero, drawing this shit. I was actually reading this like, holy shit, this is really fun. 
and good and drawn well and written well. This actually made me pee blue, and there was a burning sensation. That's how bad it was. Dude, it was I like loved it. It was oh, literally God. like Tijuana. It was the worst. I was the hugest fan of Scooby-Doo growing up. So how can you the, like this shit? How could you not? <laughs> this is perfect. Everything about this is great. It, it brings the characters together in an understandably believable sense. So would mass you, death from a oh car accident. God. Did you ever see the, the Scooby-Doo oh uh, Escape from Zombie Island or something? Yeah. Movie? Oh, that crap. They made her the that same crap. character. Right? She had that mysterious mystery what? show. That yeah. That was yes. Cool. That's cool. That thank you. That was the one I was trying to remember no, last right. week. When the monsters are real. This that was like the tagline. The this time is the worst. You're are watching real. this. In this is where you should begin to this send isn't book death away. threats. This I'm is sorry. when it starts. It's still fun. Captain Caveman is not yet getting a book, Sean, but Caveman. hopefully, hopefully soon. Oh I'd buy God. that. Yeah. I'd buy that for it. Caveman! I used to watch the uh, the Pebbles and Bam Bam show. <laughs> who, who, I remember Pebbles okay. and Bam Bam. Who was the guy, okay. who was the guy okay. where it always rained on him all the time? I love that guy. <laughs> is anyone reading Adventures of Supergirl? No. 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 Jeff Parker and Devin Shaker are doing a great job with Future Quest. That shit was a fun fucking book. book. Yeah. Well, what I want to know is, did you guys read Scooby-Doo? And if you did, let us know what you thought of it. I loved it. They fucking hated it. They're heathens. I'm right. <laughs> Hit us up. Questions at PeachBasement.com. Facebook.com forward slash PeachBasement. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, fucking Google Plus, everything. And thank you, Sean. He didn't hate. Well, not the best glowing review you could have gave it, but uh, I'll Dave take Peralta it. Dave read it and said it's garbage. I'm with you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, David, you just earned your last name said by a white guy about another ten times. Ooh. Peralta. Ooh. Peralta. Sean could have Oh, he also oh. didn't hate. Okay, here we go. Oh, thanks for the recommendation, House of Penance. Penance. How good Penance. is that? House of Penance. It's good. It's safe. Based on the Winchester House? Yeah, that's good shit. All right, let's talk Captain America then. Yeah. Captain America, agent of fucking Hydra. By now, I mean that this was spoiled for everybody on the internet as of like, I Time think Time Magazine day. rang a fucking story about it. Really? Yeah. No shit. See, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I didn't honestly yeah, I despise it. it. The only thing I... We haven't gotten to rebirth yet, by the way. We're getting... The only thing I did not... Like, it's a gimmick. Of course... It's it's basically Superior Cap. Okay. It's an evil fucking Cap, just no. like it was an evil Spider-Man. No, because here's what they're about to do. They said issue two, they're going to go back and explain how he was... He has always been a Hydra agent, even yeah. from the beginning. Whatever. They are like, eventually, they're going to turn it around like he was a triple agent or something. I don't know if they're going to no. take six issues, 12 issues, or hopefully not 36 fucking issues they to do this. They explained it in the first issue. When Hydra first started, it was revolution by the people for the people, just trying to make everything better. Hydra was more positive, and then like anything fucking else, it got infiltrated. New people came, and then Hydra got I just have one. I evil. just have one question about that, though, really, is that, you know, at the end, you see that um, his mom got a flyer yeah. for Hydra. Okay, a it's not. With tentacles uh, it's, it's the 1930s. You're handed a fucking flyer with a giant fucking death's head <laughs> and tentacles and shit coming out of it, and you're saying to yourself, "Oh yeah, this has got to be better than getting beaten by my husband every night." Let's do this. Yeah, I love fucking H.P. Lovecraft. Let's go to a Cthulhu fucking club and see what they can teach me about self-defense. It's just because the Hydra, you cut one head off and it, and it was... Death's head. Yeah, but not in the 1930s. Yeah, see, you didn't get away with that yeah. shit. And also, they almost ran Frank Frazetta out of town for painting um, barbarians. Yeah. And so, also, like, Death's head is poison, toxic waste. Like, they don't put it on fucking children's vitamins for a reason. Well, it wasn't a children's. I have a question. Well, maybe they did. Is this the first time we've seen Captain America's father being a dick? Yes. Yeah. He was not I, a fucking drunk asshole. I didn't asshole. like that, oh, wait, didn't wait, like did, that either. Uh, didn't he in Earth X? Like, didn't they go back and, like... Maybe uh, I was, that could not have Like, that old... That. The, 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 do you guys remember this one? The fucking uh, Earth X. From, it was supposed to be their answer to fucking... Uh, a Kingdom Come. Yeah. yeah. A poor like they, they, and they go back Very at some point and show answer. fucking uh, Captain America. You're asking me up. to remember a lot of years before, like... Yeah, wait. What proof is A lot of whiskey on? and weed, dude. Sorry. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, point being, though, is this. Is that if you, um... Let's say you just ignore the entire 70 years of fucking continuity. Yeah. 75. Even 75. Let's ignore the fact they've had him fucking like picking up Thor's hammer and fighting. They've had him literally like kicking Hydra's asshole every 20 minutes. Or, or they, it's not, it's definitely not an Elseworlds story, Stoneface. I have a few yeah, theories not, on it. But, but it's, um, I was, I'll tell them one story. In my opinion, when they do these fucking, um, character reboots or, or when they reveal his secret that he's kept all along, usually it's because it, it seems like editorial has said, 
we've run out of ideas or stories with the status quo as is, and clearly we have no more stories to tell. And I think that's bullshit. I feel like yeah. Captain America, if you look at, at, um, at what they've done in the past, when, when, when it's been like cynical government shit, they had them like get rid of the costume mm-hmm. or try something else. And they made really interesting fucking statements with that. Made them like a reflection of, you know, undercurrents in society as, as is. And maybe this... This is supposed to be that, but it's it's kind of lame and it's kind of been done. The whole fucking concept of Thunderbolts was this shit, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like, look, villains pretending to be heroes and yeah. like, I, you know, feel it feels it's gimmicky. They're going to obviously change gimmicky. it back yeah. soon. I don't Probably the it. end of the year at the very least. But it's like, why? You know, so so somebody else put this article up where it was like, why don't they? Why won't they just let? Captain America be Captain, Captain America, America, right? Yeah. Like, like they had to make him an old man for a while, which is kind of a cool status quo change, mm-hmm. right? They turn turned it over to fucking you know the Falcon. It's fine. Then they do this shit. They bring him back, but they're like, psych, psych, psych. psych this psych, is psych, not the like, way to honor a character's seventy fifth anniversary. I'm sorry, I, it's not. Yeah, no. I kind of agree. Like, I feel like it's kind of a because I, you know they're gonna drag this shit out for more than like a story arc. Yeah, but like, that's the problem. I still it. feel like it's the. Uh, the old concept of it, he, like he's down for the original Hydra, not Maybe. this corrupted new. Hydra, Hydra should never have been that to begin with. But, like that, no, but the concept of Hydra I, I was we're a bunch of assholes who are going to take over the world. But people, infl- things get corrupted. Anything gets corrupted, especially when it's like even these, tomorrow. even these groups, like never, the Occupy groups never and stuff. Go see it. If there's people doing stuff for the people, there's provocative. The problem with these Occupy right. assholes is nobody's actually doing stuff. Right, get a fucking job and stop protesting and get out of my way when I'm trying to get into. Fucking I can work. argue that, but I'm not going to talk about politics. So, but but the, but the point is that when there's people doing stuff for the people by the people, that people will come in and try to fuck it up and take the power away from the people, and that's what Hydra could have done: come in, infiltrate it, make it bad. No, I'm, I'm no. not. Hydra was bad. They were not a fucking people for the people. That was the fucking United States government when no. it first started. Well, look what happened to that. But, but in the new book, in this new book, they show it. It's just the book. Uh, that, and that's willing. incorrect. That's not honoring what came before and it. That's also, somebody coming in and saying, well, I'm going to fuck everything up. Wait, also, didn't they just Hydra's do this shit with evil. inversion? That with that, what was that fucking thing? Fear itself, <laughs> where everybody got inverted? Yes. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a so white skull with a red yeah. skull? Like, to, like I, that's what I'm saying, though. Is that, yeah, this is like. You know, they've retread this a million fucking times. I'm not, I'm not, the book is well done. I'm not saying that. It's drawn really well. It's written pretty well. I found well. it a little just, tough to get through. Honestly, well, I was a little I mean, bored just, with it. Yeah, and like, he has really, a lightsaber like, fucking shield. Does have a lightsaber shield. Yeah, he does have a lightsaber shield. And it's kind of corny. And like Jack Flag and fucking, you know, what's her name? The, the, free the, spirit. It's free spirit. Like my whole fucking thing with this is that like, you know, you're not, you're not there long enough to give a shit. Right. You know, and um, the fact of the matter is, I, my theory is it's going to be like the Red Skull with the cosmic cube changing all of reality or something ridiculous. Why can't we just get Captain America and the Winter Soldier while we're at it dealing with down to earth fucking like sto- you know like Galactus. real stories? But we knew that this was what this book was going to be. This was going to be Captain America fighting super villains and shit, and Sam Wilson was going to be the Captain America who's dealing with social issues and fighting probably street crime and shit like that. Banging which is, Misty Knight. Banging Misty Knight, really? Iron Fist gonna have some shit to say about that. I'm sorry, Iron Fist will fuck him up. Sorry, dude. I, either way, uh, I didn't really care for the whole Captain America thing. Not because oh, it's fucking he's not a Hydra agent and whatever. It's gimmicky. It's Superior Spider-Man to me. Yeah, and that's Except just... Superior Spider-Man. They gave himself kind of an uh, whatever. You know what? An imaginative writer will figure out a way to fucking, you know, untie this fucking knot. I, you know listen, I mean? I'm, I'm not, not a... Just, it's just, not it's not just, I'm not going to knock Nick Spencer here. Bad. He's, oh, no, no, no. he's a decent saying, writer. Yeah, yeah. I'm not not at all. Like I said, for, for what was in front of him, he, he wrote a good story. <laughs> I, you know, and the art's really, really good. It's just, you know, again, I this is kind of corny. It's been done before. Like, but you're, see, not, now, you're not going to get more readers by doing this particular thing. In fact, although you are... You're going to alienate them. I was looking forward to, like... Uh, the Ed Brubaker, Steve Epting run. That was yeah. Captain America at his fucking finest. Yeah. And, and that's not this. Yeah. Ed Brubaker has like a gold pen anyway. Mm-hmm. Though. <laughs> so no, you're right. True. You're not getting new readers gold. out of this. And frankly, I'm, I don't care to pick up issue two. Yeah. Not because I'm insulted by what they've done to the character or anything. It's just, just like, it's, eh. it's, just, yeah, it's just like, it's just been, it's retread ter- fucking territory. And I, I want to make one editorial comment and you guys can disagree with me and internet land out there, you can disagree with me too. Oh God. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna address this. Gonna talk I am absolutely penis. gonna address this. Talk about his penis. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Captain America is not gay. 
Now here oh, we go. Wait a minute. Okay, I know he's hot. Wait a minute. Here we go. Let me let me defend this. I am not saying Captain America can't be gay. I'm saying don't change Captain America and make him gay because <laughs> because most men most men do not suddenly wake up one morning and go mmm dicks. That's one. Two. Have you ever been to California? No. I've actually only made it as far as Vegas. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Two. Insane. I'm aware that most homosexual men uh, started out their lives with women and realized, well, this isn't really for me. Captain I'm living Trans a lie. <laughs> Captain Trans America. That is a Trans fucking weird on so many levels. Fake. Sorry, I'm using that. I, you better trademark that fucking thing before, before the fucking show ends because that was good. Cap people's <laughs> argument would be that, oh, well, Captain America just couldn't admit it before, you know, he was with Sharon Carter, he was with Peggy Carter, he was with however many Everybody women before, I mean, hey, Viper, but, Diamondback, but let's, let's keep her, maybe you switch hits, let him live. Or, or like both. Because, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Because I, you don't need to it goes against oh, the character's, that. not moral fortitude, that's the wrong term, but his, his intestinal fortitude because <laughs> Captain America has the, the kind of... Is that the point no, 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 no. <laughs> Captain America's character in itself would not allow him to live that life. He was gay from the start, and even this, though it went against the society's norms, he would have been like, fuck you, I'm gay, live it, I'm, I'm Captain I America. Like my thing he would have admitted that from the start, which is why he can't be gay now, because he wasn't then. Don't I'm not saying he out. can't be gay, I'm saying he simply isn't. I mean, he also wasn't six foot seven in Chinese, but they'll find a way to work that shit in. <laughs> don't ask I'm just saying. Out. I mean, look, I... I, I make a know, new fucking character. You know who actually said something really funny about this shit online? Uh, I, don't, I just Sutton, don't see it, though. Uh, and I know he's a friend of the show. Uh, he said that uh, between uh, saying Hail Hydra at the end of issue one, uh, alienating half his fans, and then the other half of his fans like trying to get him and Bucky to kiss... It's not been an easy week for All Captain my America. lady friends want to see them kiss. It's yeah, but only in the movies. Like they're like it's yes. it's like oh, yeah, yeah. too well oiled Superman making <laughs> sexy time. I think Bucky looks like a greasy like he's not. I don't understand Yo, the attractiveness. Real, real talk, real talk. He looks astonishingly like fucking Mark Hamill from fucking. Yes, yes, he like, does. Yeah. Did you like, see that Photoshop? Yeah, 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 like that was some creep. For the edited version, I'm popping that shit up on screen right now. That is not Mark Hamill. That is Sebastian Stan. Listen, I'm just. Saying, it's not good to don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why the masks all have white eyes, but I'm not going to start with that. I think we can all say this, is that Captain America is 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 a well-executed, poor idea, if that makes any sense. It's like... Good it's like, term. Yeah, like, I, you know, it's it's... It's nothing that reflects the writers so much as it does the, the poor editorial decisions at Marvel for this particular title. Otherwise, I think Marvel's doing a really good job. I, I, for this, it's just weird. And I don't know why they... No, I do know why they did, like, Captain America, Sam Wilson, Captain America, Steve Rogers. They're hedging their bets, right? Like, you might want to still see just straight up Captain America fucking Red Skull up with no a big shield. Mm. No yeah, pun intended. Right. Although I hear Red Skull's right. a bit of a smuggler. You never know. Uh, you know, but... I, I, you know, the secret right. life of fucking Captain Hydra doesn't do much for me. It's just, it's not... I don't, yeah, I don't care. You know what I don't, what I don't like about it? Because I can turn a conspiracy into everything. I love all that stuff. I feel like Disney are a bunch of Illuminati jerks. And it's like right now the presidential election is coming up and everything, right? And you take Captain America, who since World War II has been like household name, right? He's patriotic and it's like, yeah. Captain America, yes. And then now you take him and make him a bad guy all along or something like that. And it makes you feel like you can't trust anybody. You can't even trust the people that you felt like gave you, like made you feel yeah, good and about I feel, this yeah. country. And like, it's like, fuck your heroes and fuck you. You know, Captain America's not a good guy anymore. Fuck everybody. We can't trust anybody. I don't, I don't no, like I kind of, I kind of So what you're saying is when faced with the choice of Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, he's like, hail Hydra. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. I, oh my god. No, I feel like I feel like this is really rethinking America. You're a fucking monster. Holy shit. I don't know. I'm like, fucking Canada. This is bullshit. I feel like it was done on purpose at a particular time. Especially all these kids are hooked on Captain America now. It's like, now we're going to make them bad. I don't know. Oh. Something about it. I, I feel like it's... Like, I don't know that kids are hooked on Captain America. For the show. For the show. Like the cartoon and stuff. Oh, okay, and yeah. the movies. They like Captain America. Oh, hell yeah, well. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, they canceled uh, fucking Agent Carter. But it might be coming to Netflix. And that it will be coming be. with it. Yeah. Many times in an hour. I, I saw the At least three. 
I don't give a fuck what. Listen, she could sit there and read the ingredients off of fucking Manitoulin. She's a lushness though. That's I don't give thing. a fuck. I let, her, her let her drink until she's blind. I fuck the cataracts off that woman. <laughs> she's bad as shit. I don't give a. I don't give a fuck what what project she's in. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what line she has, what role she has. I don't give a fuck. I just want her I naked. See. What? Go. Just listen. Listen, I'm a happily married man. I love That's my wife. Ha- Haley Atwell is. I, is she like your your one off? I don't. Everybody gets a one off. She's my right? one off insofar as I get off and my wife would throw me in front of the one train. Uh-huh. But like beyond that, she is bad. I, who gives a fuck what she's on, man? Haley Atwell's can- cleavage cures cancer. True. I would drink, I would drink her bad water. Facts. Look that shit up. It cures cancer, restores vision, increases male genital sensitivity for the elderly. Fucking her titties could light the fucking moon. Like they have their own gravity and zip code. I, look it up. It's all. Listen, I'm just saying. Look it up. That's oh science. Gosh. That's science. Oh, you can that's read that great. shit on the internet. And you can believe everything on the internet. The internet is where all the things Even happen. Even gay men are agreeing. Thank you. Exactly. I don't Thank know what you. There is no... Andre said, what? I'm gay and I'm with you, man. See? <laughs> Fuck my head where we need more hair. That's all I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'd like to point out and say thank you to Lynn for the tiny and also Thomas, Tommy Tutos, for sharing our Periscope on Twitter. Thank you very much. You guys are, uh, you guys all Salute. your cancer. How do I do that? Also true. I don't know how to, what, I'm old. What is the, how do we make the internet say ooh, thank you? Ooh. You can share it too. Oh, oh, oh. Smiling face. I'm not letting anybody face, I know man. know that I'm here right now though. You're ashamed and embarrassed of us. I don't know when we're, we we hash it. We hashtag Bruce Wayneberg. Bruce Wayneberg was a tag. Right. It's a good one. Thank you, my good man. Good to Share with specific yeah, followers. I'm not even on Twitter. Can I now. just uh? Did I did I thank oh, look, this girl on, on the show? Yet? Here. I don't think you mentioned her specifically. Yeah, I don't cups. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I did in the beginning of it, but I'm going to thank her again uh, to Elizabeth Mendoza. Harley Quinn, I love thank you for the yes. fucking hand painted enamel glasses. Those are cool. The best oh. shit about this is I can drink out of them, I can wash them, and it doesn't. The paint doesn't come off. Nope. That was like I'm like, oh man, I'm not even gonna use these. I'm gonna hang them off. She's like, no, 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 you can use them. David Barata wants to know what. He what did we think of Preacher? Honestly, I fell asleep doing it, and that's not through any fault of the show. I, I was just it. really fucking tired. It was awesome. So uh, mind you, I've never read the books. You never read those? Really? See, that's the one oh, reason why I'm sort of like, oh, um, that's one reason I'm sort of like, and I didn't love Preacher. The, the show or the book? Coming. The book. The yeah. show's okay. The show's the fun. The show's fun. Yeah, it's the show's fun. fun. Like, uh, you know, it, it, it what, differs greatly from the book I was the, I, They're going to yeah. change it. I, they have to change it. I Otherwise, saw, literally, people would burn down AMC. I, like, I think the entire, like, southern United States would probably riot. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and there's some really fucked up shit. Cause it's, I want to read it, too. I do. It's I a Garth Ennis book. It's fucked yeah, up. It has and, to be changed. And um, Garth Ennis kind of hates everything. He so. like I went to a screening of... The preacher sh- uh, on Thursday uh, and what do you at think? the 92Y, and it was followed by a question and answer. So it had uh, Seth Rogen was there, and Garth Ennis was there. Garth Ennis thinks the show is brilliant. He loves it. Great. And yeah, then, I'm but, sure he's going to say the thing that just he cashed a million it. dollar check for. He, he, <laughs> he's, he's like, this fucking sucks. This is fucking terrible. <laughs> Pass me the JMO. <laughs> I can't watch this shit sober. He seemed, he seemed genuine. If you've ever had the privilege of meeting Garth Ennis, he talks like that. He does. Like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he liked it, and when they were writing, it, and they were they were stressing. He's like, but you're gonna change that, right? And they're like, can we change it? She was like, of course you can have to change oh, it. Of course, I expect you to change gonna, it. Gonna, it's not gonna work. You have to change. So he was okay with it and everything. I thought preacher was good. I got to see it on the big screen. Just for a second, I need no to go in the go in the back room and masturbate to this million dollar check. <laughs> uh, change whatever you fucking like. People yeah. were people were asking them. So how did you feel like working with AMC and everything? And oh. AMC was in the crowd, so they're like. AMC is great. They're just wonderful. He's there. sitting there fucking t- stapling the million dollar check to his dick like, oh, that's the fucking oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> Kiss me, lucky child. <laughs> I'm t- I fucking love AMC. Do we know if this is a full season or if it's just six episodes right now? It's probably it's gonna be. Six. It's going to be ongoing. It's gonna, gonna yeah, I know that, but the, the, this first season, usually like AMC does the test run. Ah. It's like just stick so, the tip in a little bit. Yeah, right. No guarantees. 
But if I didn't say it, he was gonna. Why don't I get the look? But he says it's fucking normal. I don't even I, know why I, that. Bring it. Why must it always be about your penis? That's what I'm saying. I mean, there's I other. Never talk about that. <laughs> well, usually That's I'm the one wishing that. death on people, but you Most, seem to have this run over by a truck Most, thing covered today. <laughs> Most of Western uh, culture and society is based on our penises. Yes, Outcast has his own show too. Yeah, which I'm, I'm actually more interested in that one. Outcast, yeah. the rap group. I, I knew wow, you. that would be yeah. amazing. Yeah. I met them. Yeah, I totally chilled with I, them in fucking yeah. Miami. They're awesome dudes. I'm I, sure. from what I hear, they're wonderful hey, people. Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we have one in the studio on each day. Um, <laughs> the it's show out next. You see, it's another. It's uh, another. Um, that was a book that I, I unfortunately did not read, and I wish I did. Go back. Go back and take a look at it. Yeah. It's. it's I like it more by far than Walking Dead. Um, I feel wait, wait, is it zombies and shit? Like, no, 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 no. It's outcast? Bad. Yeah. Oh, it's demon no. possession. Yeah, really? it's, it's like this guy oh, it's survived. Like up alley, then. Oh, straight yeah. up, yeah. Right. Yeah, no, we love it. It's it's about a kid who, and correct me if I'm wrong, he um, survived an exorcism, and now demons can't get into his head, so they use him to like help Ooh. exercise demons. Uh -huh. And he's yeah. fucked up because he yeah. he had. He, he first discovers this, and he has to beat the demons out of them. So and literally, he, he kind of did this to his own kid. So he can't visit his own kid anymore because yeah. he got locked up. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's it's pretty fucked up. But I, you know what, I like it. And what so channel much. is this on? It's on. Uh, it's going to be Cinemax. It yeah. come out yet? Oh, okay. The, with the first episodes floating around on Facebook and whatnot, legit wise too. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. then I'll definitely I'll just I'll nah, catch like up on the book before the show really comes out. Good. Is it Showtime? No, no, no. It's I thought it was Stars. I remember hearing Cinemax. By the way, everybody, be proud of me. Be fucking proud of me. I finally started reading Lock and Key. I finally see what the hype is about. This shit is creepy as fuck. It is. Yeah, it is. There's a Joe, Joe Hill, Hill's insane. Joe, Joe Hill is fucking nuts, and his books are good. Are you? Is uh, that the last thing you have to fulfill? The last requirement that's been put upon you well, so that, far? It was Game of Thrones and get Lock and Key. It was Chew. He did Chew. Chew. We caught up. Chew is the first one. Yeah. <laughs> then then it was Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, I'm up on Chew. And Lock and Key. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. Exactly. I have five more volumes to go. But you're reading it. Yeah, I'm reading it. And times a year. Yeah. Well, now we have to do I did, but I, I did not finish the Peter Capaldi ones before. I'm not watching him either. I don't it's, care it's for him. It's too gray and like boring and dry. And he's old. I, I don't care about. I'm him. sentimental. I like the idea of like old, the the partner falling in love with the doctor, and I'm like, how are you gonna fall in love with that shriveled old penis? Oh, they're talking about Doctor Who. Oh, Doctor Who too. That was the third thing. Pete still needs to read Invincible. That's a lot of issues, man. There we go. Just yeah, but they're cool. It's not Jim on Tony at all. No, I can't. My OCD demands that I start at one. <laughs> no, but you would still enjoy it. So Maybe. Yeah, yeah, but you guys like the one in case you start with Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it probably I, that would have been nice to know. Uh, half a week ago, so I could have ordered it, <laughs> and I would have got here in time for my vacation. But my ass is going to Florida next week, so guys, remember, no show next week. We'll see you in two weeks. You're yeah. part of the whole week? I'm gone the whole week. Wow. Yeah, dude, I'm going to fucking Universal Studios. I'm going to Islands of Adventure. I'm going uh, to ride the Doctor Doom's Fearfall. I'm going to Harry Potter World. I'm going to get a wand. I'm going to be fucking yes, checking off the last part of the bucket list, which is fucking an alligator. And he's gonna so back where back else but Florida, right? He's going to come back all red and burnt. And, and like, shaved. There's going to be a bunch of little 11 year olds running around in wizard's robes, and then there's going to be my old dumbass <laughs> running white he's right there with him. what he's going to be doing at night in his hotel room. I just <laughs> 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 For a drunk Italian uh, in a wizard world, stuck in Jaws. He's stuck in the animatronic fire. Jaws robot. He's trying to fucking out. <laughs> Jaws was the worst ride that I went on there. Because the, the tour, the first that we had that sucks. was so nice. I just want you know, I used to know a girl named Jaws and the ride was excellent. <laughs> oh. Can I just get a high five on that, please? That's a great line. Parts of your brain work so quick. <laughs> it's just, it's, it, it is. I'm not lying. Cigar City Beers is recommended. That is a Cigar City community. Beers, all right. Parts of your brain I gotta be so honest, bad. though, Dark Myers, I want the fucking butter beer. That yo, man, Stone Face, a hundred bucks. We just said, like, yo, man, we're gonna get a stick. There's, there's about to be a one, stick bro. on the floor somewhere. <laughs> oh so let's talk DC Rebirth. Oh, fuck. You, did you despise this? Because I, I didn't hate it. I didn't reach it. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it either. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I saw the leak online, right? Uh, uh, Everybody saw that shit. Yeah. And, and my first instinct was frothing rage. But then right? I was like... But then, was, then, I was like then I was like Alan Moore, who's like a fucking like wizard or some shit, is clearly like skull fucking his voodoo doll of Dan Didio right now. So like cosmic <laughs> justice will avail itself. But... 
But I ended up reading it, and I gotta tell you, it's fucked up. I, I didn't mind it. I was really And it doesn't well look like Dr. Manhattan made the world. It looks like he just <laughs> fucked with it because he felt like it. Kind of like that fucking belt that just the, distorted I can time smell space. that, actually. I, can smell I could it from feel here. it in my bone marrow. Um, so, can it come? I, I okay, just want to so like, raise a glass to the return of Wally fucking West. Yeah. The like, Flash. Okay, so here, I, I'll tell you this. The artwork was top notch. Um, the really? fact that they actually had panel, whole panels that were like literal, just great homage to like older fucking uh, uh, reboots. Like there's a scene where, where Wally's like trying to get people to fucking like remember him, and he's standing there, and it's the exact frame of like the Flash from Crisis on Infinite. Yes. Um, I I don't like what they're doing to incorporate the Watchmen shit, but I got to tell you, this is probably the most coherent, well done reboot. The DC has done in like probably 15 years. Let me see. My like, question is, where do we go after this? Is there going to be a DC Rebirth issue two where they further explain this, or now are we just know. going to splinter I'm it off into all these I different issues? I'm going to splinter it, but but there's there's something that me and Ramon were talking <clears> about <throat> that I feel really needs to be addressed. So apparently in this uh, Rebirth, Batman is the worst detective who ever lived. Worst fucking three detective fucking ever. Jokers. He couldn't tell them apart. That's the big thing that he, he learned on the, on the chair. The chair, is yeah. That there's the actually chair said there's three, three jokers. Yeah. And That's one, dumb. That is fucked yeah. hardy. Why not? Like, I don't even know... Like, I don't even know why. Like, why? why? Because the Joker is so... Like, he's just an amazing character that you can't split that kind of insanity into three different people. But he, they've done that before but in Arkham. It needs to be just one yeah, person. Yeah, no, they did. In Something the Arkham like Asylum, uh, the video game, there was like... Never played it. Not was, canon. Like, don't care. Uh, other Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. But, but, but like... Excuse the left. That makes Batman like the dumbest, like... But it, like, it would be like Mike Tyson being like, there were three Buster Douglas. But if, like, but, <laughs> maybe by the end of that fight. But like, but like, like you know the difference. No, you like, hit you, the guy in the middle. You okay. I'm not, you I, don't, I shouldn't say that just yeah, in case Mike Tyson's it. actually watching this. He's like, I'm going to fuck him up. You wouldn't know the difference <laughs> if from the beginning. You were always seeing different jokes. Okay, but here, here, flip side of that. You're in bed with a guy. The lights go off. Suddenly, his stroke is different. You're gonna tell oh. me. You're gonna tell me you wouldn't be like, "Wow, your penis somehow the contours of that penis." Uh, uh, and then there's three guys standing there. Like, like which one of us was it? But I'm just saying, like, like, like the two of them have like that bizarre relationship where how you not? It, it just the way they've set up like Batman and Jokers. They've got almost the fucking erotic relationship. Yeah. yeah. So the fact that that he couldn't be like, wow. "Oh, wait, that was another guy." Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck happened? You know, his bad weed is some shit. I <laughs> no, but I understand what you're saying. I like, I do understand what you're saying. Is you, that it's not an impossible. If you were always seeing those three different guys since the beginning, you would just associate them all with one person. Oh, you're saying so that so that like the actions are make the actual person like if, interchangeable. If there was like one person, one Joker, and then years later there was another Joker, yeah, you're gonna notice the difference. But if you were seeing them all at the same time at different times. You know, you know what? I'll accept that. Uh, I'll no, accept I that don't. As a devil's uh, advocate. Joker's, <laughs> Joker's a... ego wouldn't allow another fucking Joker. He'd kill him. Look, yeah. <clears throat> but he likes. He's crazy like that. <laughs> no. So no. That, there could have been other Jokers, and he's like, I don't like you anymore, and killed them, and then other he got hired other Jokers. That to one Joker that loved Batman and didn't care about his alter <laughs> ego would have killed the other two Jokers. <laughs> you right. He's I like, would no, love I'm not. That, 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 that would be a fucking series. Like the only time you're gonna get away with that is if you bring in some other universe shit. And okay, he's wait. still trying to kill him. But here, here, here. <laughs> this, this, these, okay. Um, in terms of the individual that? elements that they brought back, which listen, which uh, Joker fucked Har- Harley? How does Harley fit in with the three Jokers? There are three holes. I'm going to leave it up to you. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. Um, horrible to imagine, but well done. So here's my biggest problem in terms with that, the execution of the overall fucking story. I'm is, yours now. I have to turn mine off. Is um, <laughs> is there are too many of these fucking like. Splash pages of Wally West trying to get people to remember him, like his own fucking wife. Like, uh, who, who, I, <laughs> it's just like our relationship. I've been seen, relationship. Right, the whole relationship. Like, I haven't seen an alimony check. <laughs> who are you? I don't know shit. <laughs> like, what? but there's a lot of these, and it gets gratuitous after a while you, because man. I don't like it. There's really right no on. backgrounds. Like, yeah. Also, I mean, why didn't he go to Barry first? Because that would have saved like 50 pages. Right? <laughs> but like, that's the whole thing. There's like literally 
four fucking pages, five of lightning and stuff. Yeah, of him being yeah, like, that's a lot of fucking like, lightning. A lot of lightning. Oh my god! Like, no, no, no. Seriously, there's like literally five pages of him going like, "Why can't you remember me, Barry? You gave me such a wonderful life. All that time we spent, you know what I love though? alone in the basement, me a child, you a man, and all the spandex." But the fucking Barry <laughs> Allen's like, "Who are you? There's not enough time." But yeah. I'm gonna sit here for another six pages, pages. and explain <laughs> other shit. And I don't get that. It's like, thank you for everything. You've made life so, so wonderful. How about you say, you know, Molly West, wait, remember me? That, okay, so any bells. that bugged me a little bit, and the whole, like, dark side fucking thalidomide baby thing they have going on. What where, is that baby? That's dark side baby. He's okay. made mostly and out of... His, his mom's an Amazon. Yeah, and, like, they clearly drank water. She was born Michigan the same day as Wonder Woman. Not, well, he's a freak. Nah, she... Um, I thought she... Well, but I thought that was, like, Wonder Woman's he brother. He looks like Bush No, Bill. Wonder Woman does have a brother, a twin brother, but he's out there in the world somewhere. Uh-huh. I mean, look, my whole thing with it is, is that... Um, and Superman is dead. Yeah, can we get into that for a second? Yeah, let's. I, look, long story short with this is that um, I would actually say, pick it up, It's it's not... If you don't give a fuck about like the Watchmen stuff that goes with it, it, it or you can ignore it or whatever, it's really actually very well done. I I, I just I, I want to know more about this initial storyline, and I'm afraid but, that I'm not going to you know, know what? where to look that's for how it. They're, that's how they're going to get you. You know what I mean? Is that I, I am? Did I'm you see what's coming you? out of this though? Like the Batman books look like kind of garbage. God. The Batman books. There's one guy named Gotham running around Gotham trying to be a new hero. Well, okay, here, here, here. Yeah. This is Original this is what Batman. this is what the yeah, right. this is what I am the city. Um, the 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 <laughs> internet uh, rumors going around are this is that there's a character named Mr. Oz who's clearly like a reference to Ozymandias, right? And then you have clearly oh, like I didn't pick up on that. I'm um, the fucking uh, as far as the three Jokers, uh, some people are saying maybe one of them is the comedian, right? Okay. And then uh, for Gotham, they're saying that it's uh, Night Owl and Silk Spectre, which is interesting but kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, it's leading to a big event. Uh, of course it is. But see, here's my thing with it: is this, it, and this is this is uh, the last I'll say in this is that in my mind, what DC um, continues to do is just completely fuck their legacy because they keep revisiting these classic stories that they were really brave to experiment with in the eighties. <coughs> Dark Knight Returns, fucking Watchmen. You know, they they had crisis that were incredibly groundbreaking at the time. No one else is doing that shit. And they keep going back to the well and they've ultimately like fucking tainted it completely. I would never read another fucking book by Frank Miller after that uh uh Dark Knight Three? Two, two no, oh. Dark Knight Two ruined that shit. Dark Knight Two is abysmal. And 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 they kept going. I never read it. I read it to so I, that way I could read Dark Knight Three and, and I wanted was, to just pull my but, eyes but, out. But you see what I'm saying? And then they're doing this, and then they did all the like prequels with, with Watchmen, right? Because they were like, wait, wait, I was not terrible. They were not no, terrible. But it, was, but it was like, who the fuck? Like, why? Like, thirty years fucking later, why? And now they're doing this, and <laughs> and what? What happened? Who's who, better who, at sex, Our Man or Flash? I'm gonna go with Our Man. He looks like a snuggler. I don't know what the fuck to say. His like, name is Our Man over the Flash. Right? Right? <laughs> She's got a valid point. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna back her up on this one. I think he puts in the time. Yeah. Okay. Forget about it. Oh, by the way, my name is BC the Black Clown. I actually have a book out. Nobody really cares about it, but I really hope you do. <laughs> you can actually totally look it up. You can type in B.C. the Black Clown and you'll see me. If you forget your if you forget your ABCs, you don't know me, so I guess we shouldn't talk. So anyways, forget about it. The reason I love this show is because it's not only a a really funny show, but it should have gotten longer than a lot of crappy ass shows that I keep seeing on TV all the fucking time. But it was Canadian. It wasn't fucking Canadian. It was totally Canadian. Oh, oh my god. They were in Regina, Canada. <laughs> that was a joke. That was he couldn't say Regina. He kept saying Regina like it was Regina. The no whole American would ever fucking say anything in Regina. I'm just Ever. saying, like, okay, it was nice. great, it was a good show, and it should come back, like, a lot of shows that get canceled way before their time, and that's part of the problem, we can't, oh, God, we keep letting all these crappy shows go forever, and we go, Support oh, my Pete's God, basement. yeah, but Pete's there was a basement show on Showtime, has been here, your money. loyal, your loyal, money. loyal, the money. What, why do you think they're the so here, the 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 but they just they they care about out. you being here, they even let guys with funny hair come on their show, I'm just saying. So thank you for my little time here, and I'm going to be that voice in the background. You're going, hmm, what's he going to say next? Or <laughs> about, I love the show. And I'm, a fa- and I'm a fan from Chicago. I, I, you know, Winter Park, Lincoln Park. 
You know, Cub fans love this show, and we're going to make sure everybody in Chicago goes, yeah! All right? Yeah, okay, so then, so then Superman. So uh, Superman is dead. And yeah. uh, what's really good? Again. Confi- again. Again. Uh, no, but he's dead, dead. Yeah, dead, dead. Like, yeah. Kind of dead, dead. Again. But well, here's, here's the thing that's really sad. It's kind of open a pen. Yeah. With the rebirth thing, they, they've left it open in a kind of a weird way. But here's, here's the thing that um, was really kind of sad about the whole thing. When Superman died, or they staged this whole fucking thing years ago, it was a big deal. Right. This time it was almost like a footnote. Like, you very, yeah. very quietly, like, was just like, it's your lucky life. But, like, it was, it was, it was not, um, there was, it was totally anticlimactic. Now, you, you find out he's dying in Justice League 50, yeah. and he dies, or by the time Superman... In Superman 52, he, he dies. He dies. Yeah. Because yeah. yep. in, in DC Rebirth, he's already dead. Yeah. They reference it. it and, and they do tell you, don't read this before you read Justice League and, and Superman. Yeah. yeah. And, um... Obviously, he's not going to stay dead. I really hope they uh, don't make they, the new Superman this fucking chump with the kid who's married to Lois Lane. That is pretty yeah. much the plan. I don't like that at all. Uh, don't, didn't we realize that the problem with Superman in Returns was not Brandon Routh, but the fucking Super Baby? And now we're going to ruin a comic book with it? That's you just restarted your fucking universe and you're going to yeah. fuck it up? You see that right there on the cover? Ow. Superboy. Little Johnny. Little, little Johnny uh, from the hospital. So, he. I don't... It, it's... It is what it is. I'm going to see how they play this out. Um, they keep dropping hints in the books that even then they're not technically what they think. But it just kind of it, it was a really lackluster way to fucking end that character or that iteration of the fucking character, however you want to put it. It was just a really bad way to do that. There were so many better fucking ways they could have axed him and transitioned this shit together. I was disappointed. So what, he got like poisoned to death because of the yeah, apocalypse like he energy? Yeah, like some bad shit. Apocalypse shelter. energy it poisoned just... him and then he fought this other alien slash Superman. And the artwork was and bad. And he blew up. Oh, the artwork was shit. The artwork was terrible. It was like mad 90s. The artwork is everything. And it was terrible and the, the dialogue was terrible and like super, you know, like Wonder Woman's there and it's like, just like Superman. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I well know, like it was like... like... Like it was just, it was, it was... Uh, really badly done. You know what I mean? And it's fine that they obviously were segueing into this, but like... So they killed him and didn't even like do it any, yeah. any justice. They gave it no dignity. Nothing. It was just really kind of bad. Like, do what do we think of the new DC logo? I like the old ones. What is, what is this? This one, this, right? This, this looks like a collegiate font. I think I feel like I'm in some fucking Ivy League school playing lacrosse. It's boring. That's like the first logo I made when I was learning graphic design. Um... The graphics nerd in me. I don't want to be a grammar and, Nazi or anything, but you know, I'm just saying. I mean, my whole thing with it is, is that um, if they're gonna go with that, they need the little stars and shit around it. I like the I the needed. Stars. I liked the 2005 logo. That was kind of my yeah, favorite that one. That yeah. one. I thought that was good. Yeah. They, they clearly don't give a fuck though about your or my opinion. Otherwise, they would have done something better than uh, this. Why do they keep changing it so much? It's this a very corporate thing to do, fun. changing the brand, well, changing the logo. And then a lot of California, it has to do with you know, like people yeah, yeah. trying to be wishy-washy. Didn't Marvel have the same freaking one for years and years and yeah, years? Yeah, I used it to love that Marvel shit. Marvel and red. I, you know and then what? we're going to have Marvel now uh, later on sometime this year or something. After Marvel Civil War, perhaps. Five. But it's the same yeah. logo. Why, man? Right right now. now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> so, I'm good there it is. Before we go, we've got one or two more things. One from The Shadow. That says uh, the next season of Flash is going to focus heavily on Gorilla Grodd. Thankfully, I'm, I'm way into that. That shit was fucking fun. awesome. Gorilla City, can't wait for that. Which makes sense. Uh, Flashpoint. The Shazam movie will be very light in tone. Will be very reminiscent of the oh Christopher Reeves God, Superman. Really? Okay. I'm black and I'm not even laughing at that. Uh, it's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, and last but not least, I would like to just note that on the Flash. They did a cool nod to Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, I don't know if we said this already. When Barry's time remnant fate like faded away, like, mm-hmm. and it was like the you know like basically almost like that exact like series of panels when he was running through the universes and he just like slowly started to decay, just turned to nothingness. Uh, yeah, Wolf Flash season three, B Flashpoint. Flashpoint. Oh, that I have a prediction for that, and thank you for bringing that up. Yes, Flash season three will basically be Flashpoint. He saved his mother. He fucked everything up. We knew this had to happen because season one, when he shows up to save his mom, and there's his other self going, "Don't do it, motherfucker. Don't do it. You don't even know the shitstorm you're bringing." Well, now we're gonna find out the shitstorm. I just uh, hope that they do it. I do. I would love it if they make uh, at least a reference. To like Thomas Wayne back. They won't do it that way. 
I would Oliver Queen's it. father is going to be Green Arrow, and Oliver Queen's going to be the guy who either shot himself on the boat or got killed on the island. Oh, shit. That's and then we're going to have that whole, why are you saying that name? And he's going to be like, Ollie, it's me. And he's going to realize it's his fucking dad. Do you think Supergirl How will it affect will make- other shows? Yes, Supergirl will make an appearance. Supergirl Big will. ass four part crossover. It's going to be Crisis on Infinite Earths. They may not call it that, oh, yeah. but you, we all know. Because they've been talking about it in the flash since the very beginning. Red and skies and all that other stuff. Another right. bomb is Arkham Asylum is going to be a movie, not the video game, but it's going to star Jared Leto. Yeah, and I, I think that that's actually going to be a better. really good thing just because Jared Leto has a lot of that really creepy vibe with him. Like, people Wait, are going to follow him. He was creepy him. before. He Jared was, Leto? Yeah, I've been calling yeah, him Jared Leto. People are going to be like, oh my God, yeah. this yeah. weird ass either fucker. Either Dude, all I know is that uh, his version of Joker is really fucking different and, yeah. and creepy as shit. Right, and that's that's that's, kind that's of my the point. essence of Joker. In my I, opinion. if I close my eyes, he sounds great. I don't like the look, but other than that, I think he'll do a great job. Right. Yeah, so do I. I, I don't like so. the the physical appearance, right. the tattoos, the, yeah, the grills. Like, also and, Joker. And, Remember also Joker? Yeah, I didn't like that either. Yeah. Yeah. I hated everything about All Star Batman. Hated it. Oh. But now we're getting a new All Star Batman with Scott Snyder yeah. and uh, John Romita better. Jr. I don't think it's gonna be any better. Nope. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like, like here, here's my here's my here's my quote, parting fucking salvo on DC. Get this shit right. Get the fucking core books right. Then start doing all these other fucking projects, man. Get make make us want to read your books before you start offering like alternatives to them. I'm so behind. Like, who's this broad who's running around with a Green Lantern ring? Uh, she was. She was. Uh, that's not no, Star Sapphire, actually, right? No, the chick had what? the. Um, See, that's what I'm saying. The negative like, zones. Uh, negative zones. Ah, uh, fuck me. The fucking Earth, Earth three. She had the Earth, Earth, had the Earth three. She had the Earth three, three power ring. She did something to. Who was the bad guy in Flash? The one from the other dimension. Zoom. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's just Cruz from Justice League. Jessica Cruz. They, they, Thank I'm you. still am trying to figure out why they need five fucking Green Lanterns for Earth and not one of them. They Chinese. mentioned that. Oh, <laughs> they didn't mention that. A billion <laughs> fucking people. Could not one of them could fucking wield their eyes. So we got a black guy. Can we not be passing out the a, fucking Green Lantern rings like they're water through a we, faucet? I'm just saying, the, it's a black guy, it's an Arab guy, it's a fucking uh, Hispanic woman. She, they don't say what she, like if she's Mexican, Puerto Rican, nothing. No, no, she's just generic yeah, yeah. fucking Hispanic. Generic, yeah. Why don't we just make an I'm Asian Jordan. Jew and just call it a day? Do, we, do they make I'm those? That's so sure. confusing, though. Sure, I think if you're going to do it, go so all in. Make him like a fucking South Asian Jewish guy. Uh, or Argentine. Fried rice minus the pork. Brazilian. I'm just saying, there's so many fucking options. Right. Apparently, all Green Lanterns Brazilian. come from the same county in New Jersey. I have no fucking <laughs> idea how that plays out. But, what? but, Wait, but that's what I would say yeah. is this. Fucking get the core books right, man. Make us fucking believers again before you do all this other shit. I have zero interest in any of your all-star books until these look. Is Wells back on the next season of Flash? Yes. Uh, not that we know of no, yet. No, I thought he was. I Tom Cavanaugh? So. I, don't, I hope so. I, I like him a coming, lot. Yeah, he's great. But I'm assuming because they, they gave Jesse Quick and uh, Wally West like some powers. So yeah. I'm sure he'll pop up. He may not be a regular again, right. but, but I'm sure he'll re- pop yeah, up. I was going to say, he's done the last three seasons. I'm Jupanese. And I mean, he's great. You just Jupanese. listen to his I'm voice. Into it. I'm way into it. Bring, bring the Jupanese. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens. Last but not least, June 4th is a Dark Horse Day. I don't know what that entails. Oh, oh, have you ever been to a donkey show their 30th. Oh, 30th anniversary? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, at a lot of retailers really across really the country... They're giving away and having a lot of shit available. So go check out your local comic book shop cool. and find out what it is. According to the Shadow, Wells will return. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. I love it when the Shadow watches so we get bombs in real time. Yes. Prison Break is coming back. Wait, what? <laughs> Prison Break what? is coming so you won't yeah. get uh, Captain Cold and Heat Wave on like Legends quite as much. But uh, hopefully that doesn't mean Captain Cold is gone because I know a couple of people don't like his voice and that thing that he does. But I kind of dig it. I thought it was kind of cool. What? That was a good impression. It was. It 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 can get annoying. I don't know. But... Well, I, I like him in a Russian. Like, like, it. it's, it's, it's a lot less menacing than it is. Like, like he sounds like the creepy yeah. social studies teacher who locks you alone in the room after everyone. Hell yes. You had a bad Hell time in school, didn't you? Yeah. I, man, listen. New York public schools are not for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Guys, we'll see you in two weeks. Two weeks. I don't know what fucking date it is. Uh, and oh, you know what? Hang on a second. We got a new contest going, guys. We are giving away two, count them two, awesome fucking art prints by our boy J.K. Woodward. Nice. Oh, we've got Wolverine versus Archangel. 
And we've oh, got some new mutants, mutants action oh, for you. Hot. Yeah. All in honor of X Men Apocalypse coming out tomorrow. Okay. Hot. Come on. Yeah. What? Can we get a little handshake? Is that fair? Right. That's fucking nice. Yeah. That is Wolf's Bane. Oh, Wolf's Bane. Yeah. Wolf's Bane. You These know the thrill, cool. guys. By the time this pops up, you're going to have to share the post on Instagram. And anybody got an X Men trivia question for us? Mm. Oh, I got it. Not off the top of my head. You got one? Uh, like a real one or like something about Magneto's dick? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's a real one? <laughs> um, no, here. Here's one. Um, how many blind Jews does it take? To- oh, wait, we're not going <laughs> No, we're not going there. Oh, no. goodness! Um, no, here, here it is. What was uh, Madeline Pryor's uh, role in the original Inferno crossover? Back in the 90s. Uh, excuse me, shit. She got it in the first Burp fucking Yep. <laughs> Burp alert. Tell us that one. All right, there you go. What was Madeline Pryor's role in the original Inferno? Inferno? Snapshot. Here, take a look at what you're going to win. Uh, the first winner, when we draw the names in, let's give it three weeks. Sure. We'll give it three, three weeks, weeks, whatever the fuck that date yeah. is. Yeah. So not the next show we come back, but... Two we weeks get. back, so two more episodes and an extra week. Uh, the first winner will get to choose yes. which one they want. And the second winner just gets the one that's left over. June 14th, guys. That's June 14th. Comes out we will we'll be on Periscope uh, the 9th. We will draw out the names all, live on Periscope. Woo. The winner will get to choose... What well, between the J.K. Woodward artworks and the second place winner just gets the other one. And so the third runner up gets to come here and challenge Pete to a knife fight. <laughs> for the oh, last. I will win. That. We I'm do not want that. It's June 16th, Roger Rowe. Right the Periscope is the 16th. And, and the episode and will be out probably the 19th or 20th. There will be a post online. Check us out. Mention all the. The social media outlets. Of course. Facebook.com forward slash Pete's Basement. Instagram. Twitter. The thing's popping up right down there. I yeah, mean, you guys, know, you know it by now. There's a lot of things popping up right down there. Patch off? Patreon. Oh, right. Patreon. Patreon, sorry. Right, don't Patreon. Don't Patreon. Don't I'm like, what? Look, you broke until I lost my head. Yeah. Guys, of course, check out the Patreon page, Pete'sBasement.com forward slash Patreon. Uh, rather, Patreon.com forward slash Pete's Basement. Sorry, Roger. And you can see all of the awesome things that we, we can give to you guys uh, for nominal donations, some of which include artwork from Roger, who I assure you is a very brilliant artist. Uh, there's really not a medium that some of a bitch can't touch to the point where you like want to just fucking take his hands and crush him with a hammer. Um, I'll be looking out for that one, Pete. Thank you. Um, <laughs> hey, man, I'll be his bodyguard. I slash people, man. You got swords and shit, too? Really? So many awesome things to give away, guys. Check it out, and if you can donate, bless your fucking benevolent souls, and we'll see you guys in two weeks. And I always forget to not share. That's what's a Patreon, though. We can't win a date with Ramon, he's married. You can win a date with me, though, but you're buying the pizza. And I don't put out on the first date. Well, you lie. lie. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> what he meant to say. No, my buddy Tommy has a t-shirt that says I fuck on the first date. And I was going to say what he really means. Like, like on the first he doesn't date. pull out <laughs> on the first date. Right? Totally I'm different. I'm not easy, but we all the way around the world. Pete's Basement is copyright 2015, Ripped Productions, and Pete's Basement, LLC. All rights reserved, so go fuck yourself. Do we have um, the <laughs> dick and bigoting filter on? I'm looking at this screen. My dick's not getting any bigger. <laughs> he finally turned on the dick and bigoting. I feel better already. The movie wasn't bad. That I need a little more of an endorsement. Halle Berry got naked in Swordfish, we, and that was before she did fucking uh, X Men Last Stand. So I knew what her nipples looked like, and that was my incentive. I don't see that having the same incentive for Apocalypse. We've gone to plaid. <laughs> We've gone to plaid. If you don't know that reference, then you're dead to us. Uh